I know, man. There's a lot of uh, good crowd around the world, and yeah, I'm happy that I be able to to see all those guys and partying to my music. It's amazing. So uh, I'm more a producer, and later uh, there was uh, also the idea to to DJ as well, and I was also trying to. Uh, perform as a live act. So first I uh, did a live act and I put all my whole studio with me in the car with the computer, all the synthesizers and everything and I messed up pretty well. So <laughs> then I thought okay maybe uh, there must be another way to perform my music live on stage and I found out okay why not just act as a DJ and play my own records uh, because back in the days we have only record players and so I started to DJ and uh, I gave myself like three months to, to learn all the stuff and um, then I found out it's uh, one of the best uh, decisions I made because on the stage you get a much better feeling how the songs you create in this lonely room by night <laughs> or by day and uh, you just see the music with different eyes and uh, you start to produce differently because you have an imagining how will the song perform on stage. It's always good to, to as I, I played tonight, I played a lot of uh, unreleased tracks and it's always good uh, to have this um, chance to play the songs for the first time uh, in front of a crowd. They never heard the track before and then you will see, okay, this part is amazing or this part is, I have to do it again. So. How do I discover new music? I mean, uh, you discover music every day in the, in the supermarket, in the background. Uh, I uh, always listen to uh, Techno Bunker on Beatport, uh, what they uh, and discover new stuff. I get a lot of promos, but to be honest, uh, it's, it's a pool of, I don't know, thousand tracks a month. And, uh, it's really hard to go through this and normally I play a lot of my own tracks so I'm happy to have uh, maybe five tracks from other producers in my set to have one for, for two hour three hour sets and mostly I play my own tracks so I became a father uh, two years ago when the pandemic started and so I'm looking forward to uh, see my boy rising and trying to be a good father. And, and also I'm looking forward that uh, we have more time spending on stage, more time to uh, be on tour and uh, connecting with the people again. Because uh, as an artist, I think uh, getting money for it is a nice thing, but what we as artists all need is the feedback from the crowd, so do you have the feeling that you made something that makes other people happy. And uh, this is the real, the real goal for making music, I think. So I first discovered electronic music in the 80s with uh, hip hop, because they started to use uh, electronic drum machines and samples and all the stuff and um, then one day uh, a friend of mine took me into a club in, in, which was a really crazy club they had a small plane in the club and the entrance was through a, a, a bus uh, um, so and he said okay what what kind of music is this it's not hip-hop and they say no it's techno i said wow so I went back home, sold my uh, record players and my mixer because I was into stretching and all the stuff and say, okay, I have to find out how to make techno. That's amazing. So, and then uh, we had this radio show um, where Sven Fate was playing and uh, other DJs from the Frankfurt area. And yeah, mostly this radio show shows me a lot of uh, music and it's only uh, this early Frankfurt trance was my, my experience, my, my, 
yeah, where all this came from, my, my taste, my music taste. So what I been listening to in my beginning of my career, um, as I said, the Frankfurt uh, area, there was a club called Omen, uh, there was a club at the airport called Dorian Gray, and uh, yeah, Sven Fate was playing there, uh, Tala 2 XSC was playing there, some people that you don't know anymore was playing there, but um, this was my entrance into trance, techno and uh, electronic music. So for me, um, when I start producing, nobody was uh, liking my songs. Even my friends were like, uh, I say, hey, can I show you a new track when we were driving to the club? And they say, yeah, put it into the stereo. And I put it in and they say, oh, can we listen to radio again, please? And I say, whoa, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, so it was a very rough time. And then one day I listened to a track from Iman on the Top called Turkish Bazaar. I said, whoa, what is this? That's my sound. And, uh, so I just discover acid music. I discovered the TB303. So I just bought one for really cheap because they, was re they were really cheap at this time. And there was also uh, from Frankfurt area uh, a group called Gem Spoon. And uh, they had this trans element train. And I thought, okay, maybe just combine these two, trance and acid, and make your own style and call it tracid. And this is how it all started. Yeah, I, I just uh, recently I released uh, Rave the Planet with uh, my old friend uh, Asis. And uh, this will be the uh, atom for the new Love Braid in Berlin. So we, we made a track last year and uh, Dr. Motte, who's the inventor of the Love Braid, said, oh, this is an amazing track, can we use it as uh, the atom for the, for the next Love Braid? And we say, of course. So I'm really happy that finally uh, it's uh, released and uh, I played it also tonight and the uh, reaction was good, so that's uh, always good. And uh, I will also play a new Love Braid, which now call uh, Wave the planet in Berlin again with uh, a lot of people, hopefully. Uh, the main challenge is at the DJ, as uh, I discussed also with uh, Gregor Trescher when I met him at the airport in Singapore, is uh, traveling. Yeah, I mean, being on stage is. It's always amazing, it's always an uh, uh, adrenaline rush, you always feel super good. Uh, it's, but all the traveling stuff, it's really hard speaking. Guys, I'm telling you, being a plane for hours and hours and then sitting in the, in the waiting uh, area in the airport for another five hours and then go back to the, <laughs> the, air, to the plane for another ten hours and you say, okay, can you please come there? And also the jet lag, uh, but traveling is, uh, yeah, it's the stuff we, I think all the DJs don't like. But seeing different countries, uh, learn uh, new cultures, uh, yeah, that's, that's really an amazing part of our job. So, uh, before I go on set, uh, I always be super nervous, checking my tracks. Do I have my headphone with me? Do I have my USB stick with all my tracks with me? I'm ready for this. And then I go on stage and I'm super shy, looking on the floor and just hopefully somebody will scream or not. And then it always takes me some time to, to uh, open up and uh, when I see the people are enjoying the music, I thought, okay, oh, we got this. <laughs> so I don't have a, um, a special ritual to go on stage, but um, I'm always super stressed and I'm always love the idea to, to, to release this feeling and having a good time on stage. Yeah. Uh, so this summer I'm, um, going to uh, Holland next week with my family, with my wife and my little child. 
enjoying the beach and then we go to luminosity party which is also on the beach there i'm looking forward to and uh, yeah as i said i will go to berlin playing at uh, the next generation of love parade it's yeah it will be amazing the last text message is uh, the driver will be there at uh, 2.30. I really like what uh, those guys from Dark uh, made here for the festival. Uh, I, I spoke to Gregor uh, Treasure yesterday night and he said, oh, it's not looking good at uh, our festival. But I say, when everybody told me Dark Festival is sold out. And I say, wow, this is amazing. I got a lot of message on Instagram. People sending me message. Hey, Kai, can you help us? We want to go there. Can you make some expectation that we go to the festival? It's totally sold out. And I say, whoa, that's amazing. So um, yeah, I'm really, really happy those guys bring me here again. And uh, that the crowd was uh, so good. So that's yeah. amazing. Hey, thanks guys for having me here. Thanks uh, for the support. I know there's a lot of uh, long-time supporter, and but I also really like to have the combination from the from the new generation who discovered the music just uh, a year or two years ago, and they're interested to see where all the sounds coming from, where are the tracks coming from, and it's a pleasure to, for me to to live this life to. Uh, go my, through my passion and uh, feeding my family with it and having a good time. Thanks for, for your support guys.